dataman. De 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 sa bow. De sa bow. Okay. Oh la la. Gimas. When a Lucanus gather, when two or three Lucanus gather, there's dining day or kambing. I don't know. We can explain it, but we have this deeply rooted tradition with goat meat. I don't know. That's why pinapa eaten evolved or it originated from the Ilocos. Thanks for my friends today, Mirna and Freddie, who are with me. Umapal ng yun yun New Jersey and Toronto for sure. Seriously, warm welcome. We are sharing on behalf of my friends. We are sharing our sinabalukan kambing today. Just. From the locals, it's easy to make. So, allow us to enjoy this, and we will rewind because I'll be showing you the steps how to make this. It's regional Ilocano cuisine here today on Channel One, a channel dedicated to garden to plate experience. It's where we grow, cook, and share. Let's join this Ilocanos at the kitchen. Special greetings to Paul of Edmonton, Canada. When cooking goat or lamb meat, it's been proven that the use of vinegar to neutralize the smell of the animal a bit helps. That's what we're doing here. We're marinating the uh, goat meat in vinegar and salt. We just leave it in the solution for an hour and then rinse it. and just boil it in sufficient amount of water. Since this will be a soup recipe, I'll be generous with water. And you might want to remove the scones before it boils. This is just to minimize uh, dark traces in your casserole, which is unsightly. Once it's soft, I'm using here a uh, pressure cooker, so that's why it took quicker. But once it's cooked, remove the meat from the water. Cooking time or softening time depends on the uh, flame. That's good. Don't discard the water, that's where all the flavor is. We will need it later. And we are ready to work on the meat. Let's take a glass at our ingredients. Let's just look at the proportion. I've got here almost one and a half kilos of goat. I don't have fresh tamarind, so I'm using Sinigang mix, long pepper, ginger, onion, and garlic. Complete list in the description box. You know what? When cooking goat or lamb to overcome their undesired smell, it's good to <laughs> use generous amount of ingredients, especially ginger. And since this is an Ilocano food, Ilocano dish, and compared to the Towa tradition of the Bisaya, Ilocanos have preference for stronger flavors. Sour, salty, bitter, those are the Ilocano flavors. And we will be adding more than usual to accentuate those flavors. Kambing or kalding, nga inal suman. Sinampalukan kambing to our Tagalog uh, watchers out there. Goat soup with tamarind. I didn't mention in the list, but this is needed. There's still a debate which should go first, ginger or garlic or onion. How about putting them together at the same time? I'll start with the garlic or I'll start with the ginger. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Uploads every single day. Before this gets boring, let's change camera angle. Something learned from the Indians, adding salt to the stir fry or to the saute to accelerate caramelization. 
Once the onions become translucent, add the meat. And I will hide the disorder in the kitchen. Yet, I flaunt it. The salt made its job. The salt made its job too quick. Really, the onions begin to brown. Remember that we conserved the water where we boiled it in, and we need that now. We'll put this back in the uh, water. This water they pan down to get all the flavors. This is not the glazing, it was not that heavily caramelized. And more water. I added more water. The beauty of goat dishes, especially pinapaitan or this one, Sinampalokan uh, Kambeng, is it's expandable. <laughs> you can add more water if you need to feed more people. Because of its strong flavor. Let's add salt later. I don't know how salty this is because we already marinated it with salt. I'll add some and we'll just adjust it later. And there's no harm in adding the tamarind mix now. If you landed on this video, chances are you were searching for pollutant. <laughs> this might be ideal for pollutant, especially in the north, but this is also ulam. This is also eaten with rice, especially in the Ilocos. This is delicious. The use of the strong ingredients, the vinegar and of the tamarind, neutralizes the undesired smell of the goat. So this is ideal. This is a shorter version of this recipe. There's a full tutorial in an earlier upload and it's available in Spanish also. Sopa de cabra con tamarindo. And nuestro seguro is in Hispano America. Hay un video disponible en español también. This has been pre-boiled so it doesn't take much time to soften it. We just have to boil it enough to get all the flavors of the spices infused in the water or in the soup. And finally we add the chilies and give it around five more minutes and it's cooked. It's ready to serve. Thank you. On behalf of my friends here, Freddy and Vernon, thank you for joining us here today as you share the flavors of the North here on Channel 1, where we grow, cook, and share.